Okay, so you clicked on this video because you want to find out why does every roof need ice and water shield? Let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started the video. We always need a learning objective, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about three things in this video. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the definition of ice and water shield, what it actually is. Then we're gonna move on to where you actually want to install it on your roofing system. Now, this video is mainly gonna be talking about steep pitch roofs, so we're gonna be talking about like what you would install under shingles or metal on houses, apartment complexes, anything with a steep pitch roof. And then lastly, we're gonna talk about why we feel like you need to put it on every single roof. All right, let's get started. All right, so what exactly is ice and water shield? Well, we're gonna go ahead and define that and we're gonna keep it pretty simple, right? So we're gonna call it a self-adhering, waterproofing roofing underlayment that's used to prevent ice dams and wind-driven rain. Now, when I show you the different spots where you actually install this, you'll understand how it helps prevent ice dams and the wind driven rain that can cause damage on your roof. So there's a ton of manufacturers that make ice and water shield. And you may have heard of Grace or GF or whoever. Grace is kind of one of the, the oldest people that's been in the game for a really, really long time. Grace doesn't make their own shingles or metal products, but they do make a bunch of underlayments and their ice and water shield has been used for a long time. This is, this is not Grace but that's kind of one of the stand, uh, industry standards. However, as the years have progressed, more and more shingle and metal manufacturers are making their own ice and water shield and they're selling it. And a lot of times they do that is because they're selling their total package together, their, their shingles, their underlayment, their ice and water shield, their ridge cap, their ridge vents, and they're selling it as a whole package and then they're offering a better warranty for a qualified contractor to install it. So. Uh, this video is not going to be talking about all the different comparisons of the ice and water shield. We're just simply talking about why we think we, that you, sh you should have it on every roof. I will say that the worst ice and water shield that's out there is still better than not having it at all. So it's not that big of a deal. Now, we're going to hop up on the roof real quick and I'm going to show you the places that I feel like you should have ice and water shield installed. Okay, so we're up on the roof right now. I want to show you exactly where you need to make sure that you have your ice and water shield installed if you're a homeowner and if you're a roofing contractor i strongly recommend having ice and water shield in those areas so the first place is you want to have it all along the eaves and the rakes of your roof you know what eaves and rakes are it's fine this is what you got me for so your eaves and your rakes are going to be all along here okay so this is your eave and then your rake is this point right here that's uh, your gable part of your roof now, if you have a hip style roof, it's totally fine. You're still just gonna go basically on all the edges of your roof. That's a good way of thinking of it. It's just all of your edges. So you're gonna do that first. And the main, the main reason you want that is again, I told you about ice dams. Well, what ice and water shield helps do is whenever you do have a buildup of snow and ice on your roof, a lot of times it'll seep through your shingles because these shingles are designed to shed water. They're not designed to hold water out, that's not what they do. So if you have a buildup of moisture from snow and ice on the edge of your roof, ice and water shield, since it's self-adhering to the decking of the roof, it will keep that water from getting into your decking and then into your home. So that's a great reason to have ice and water shield along the eaves and the rakes. Another spot that you always wanna make sure you have ice and water shield installed is any penetrations on your roof. So. We have a standard practice, even though it's not building code for most places around the United States, is we always target patch, is what we call it, ice and water shield. So all of our boots, uh, vents, anything that we have that's a penetration on the roof, we go ahead and install ice and water shield. Hope it's not too windy and you guys can still hear me. Okay, so the last place, and unfortunately, I don't have it on my roof, is your valleys. Now, valley metal has been used for years and years and years and years, and there's plenty of roofs out there that have valley metal that haven't had leaks. But 
Okay, some point. Uh, I literally just got a phone call from my sister yesterday. They're having a leak in their roof. It's only 11 years old and it's an architectural shingled roof and they have a leak and they're literally about to close on it. And it's just horrible timing for her because she's got to get it fixed. And when your valley's leaking and your, and your shingles are about 11 years old, a lot of times you can't get it repaired. You actually have to end up replacing all the shingles in that entire valley and most likely she's gonna have to get the entire roof replaced because once your shingles get brittle you can't just go in there and do an easy repair uh, now keep in mind a valley is not an easy repair anyway so our practice is always to use ice and water shield in the valleys some people like to use an ice and water shield and metal combination we personally don't i prefer just to use a very high quality ice and water shield in the valleys by itself but again, the three places you wanna make sure that it's installed is your eaves and rakes, target patch on any penetrations that you have on the roof, and then finally, into your valleys. Well, we just got off the roof, and I told you we were gonna talk about, again, why we think it's so vitally necessary to have it on every single roofing system. Well, the biggest reason, guys, is it's just not very expensive. It's a, you know, a couple of rolls of this is what's gonna take care of a, a most houses. Um, you, know, you can find good ice and water shield, you know, anywhere from you know fifty to hundred dollars a roll. Um, again, we're not going to every single manufacturer, but again, you talk about your your entire roof, and you talk about spending an extra hundred bucks, uh, two hundred dollars to have ice and water shield put on is very inexpensive for the extra protection that you get. Now, some contractors don't like to use it as much as we do. For me, once the roof's on, the last thing I want to do is have it leaking in the future. So it's worth putting a couple of extra accessories that increases the price by just a hair to make sure it doesn't leak. So if you are a homeowner, make sure that you're asking your roofing contractor to use ice and water shield and ask him where exactly he's installing it. And if you have any questions, feel free to show them this video. It's not gonna hurt my feelings any, and you just wanna make sure that they are using it. So again, from the cost uh, cost perspective, you absolutely should be using ice and water shield. Well, that's it. We talked about what ice and water shield actually is. We talked about the three places you want to make sure that you install it on your roof. And the last thing we talked about is why it's so important you actually need it. Again, the guys, the last thing you want to do is pay for a new roof and have a leak afterwards. So anyway, if you found the video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel a lot. If you enjoy our content and want to see more from Digital Roofing Innovations, please give us a subscribe. We've got a lot of great content already on our page and more coming out. Please check out our website at digitalroofingcompany.com. Our blog section has got some awesome articles that it's just kind of difficult to make some videos on. And so we got some great articles on there. And as always, Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in our modern approach with traditional values. Have a great day.